this small university in the north of Sweden whose name I could barely pronounce and who had, you know, reindeer on their mascot. <laughs> and, you know, so that was, a, that was sort of a, a, a strange thought for me, you know, to go someplace so far away. I have been um, an activist all my life, and what took me to Nicaragua in the beginning was my um, interest in social justice. I went because of the Sandinista Revolution, and I actually dropped out of college, um, yes, in, when I was in my last year because the Sandinista Revolution had happened in 1979, and I wanted to be a part of that. And I lived there for almost 20 years. Uh, during the revolutionary period, I worked on the Atlantic coast of Nicaragua for the Ministry of Health, working in community health. And then afterwards, I worked um, as a gender officer in the Swedish embassy. It was part of the path that got me to Umeå eventually. Right. My first contact with the professors and colleagues from Umeå was because I was representing SAREC and came to visit the, um, the project that they had in Leon, Nicaragua with the university there. And so I went, you know, representing the embassy and met with Lars Oke Persson and Stig Wall and Gerker Lillistran and uh, the Swedish colleagues who were leading this, this cooperation program around child survival and maternal health. So they were telling me all about their study and this demographic surveillance site that they had set up. And because already of my interest in the women's movement, and women's rights, I said to them, well, isn't it possible that, you know, shouldn't you be looking at violence against women? Couldn't that be affecting some of these health problems you're looking at? So on their side, they became very interested in this and they reached out to me and said, you know, if you'd like to study with us and you'd like to work on, um, on uh, violence against women, we'd be very happy to, to have you. So I started thinking about it. You know, I had a job, I'd been interested in studying public health. Um, in fact, I'd been just thinking about applying to Harvard um, Public Health School or Yale, which is my, um, where I did my undergraduate degree. And, you know, they're from this small university in the north of Sweden whose name I could barely pronounce and who had, you know, reindeer on their mascot. <laughs> and, you know, so that was, a, that was sort of a, a, a strange thought for me, you know, to go someplace so far away. But I was so impressed with the work that they were doing. And about six months later, I received a plane ticket in the mail <laughs> and said, you know, we'd like to invite you to one of these short courses we do in epidemiology. So I came and took that course and I loved it. And I just realized that the work they were doing was so important and they were so, so supportive and so interested in these issues that um, clearly this was the best place for me to come.